Hi children, welcome back to second session of mathematics. Previous class we have already learned number system and operations on integers. Now next topic is LCM. It's one of the major part we play in a mathematics. So how to find LCM in between of two numbers? For example, 12 is a number, 15 is a number. To do LCM in between of these two numbers, first we need to know about prime factorization. What is prime factorization? The given numbers, here it is 12 and 15. First, we need to convert these numbers into prime factors. For example, 12 is here. Take all the prime factors. We are dividing into 2. 2 6 is 12. Next, 6. 2 3 is And 3 1 is So, this 12 we can write the product of 2 into 2 into 3. These are all prime numbers. And this factorization is called as prime factorization. Next, 50. 3 5 are 50 and 5 are 5. Now this 50 you can write in the product of 3 and 5. And this is called as prime factorization for these two numbers. Now this process we have to take at a time to find for LC. That is 12 and 15. Prime factors. Prime factors will start with 2. So this procedure also we should start with 2. 2. 2, 6 and 12 and 16 will not go into table. Right as it is. Next. Again take 2. 2, 3 is 6 and 15 will not go again right as it is. Next. We should take 3. Why? Because these two numbers will not be divided with 2. So take 3. 3 ones are 3, 3 fives are. So next 1 5, we are take 5. 5 ones are. Now for this 12 and 15, LCM is LCM of 12 and 15 is 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. And 2 2 is a 4, 4 3 is a 12 and 12 5 is a 16. The required LCM for these two numbers is 6. One more example to find LCM for bigger numbers. 120 is a number, next 200 is another number. Take one more number, 250. How to find LCM? Written of these three numbers. Follow the same steps here also 120, 200, and 250. Start with 2 table. 2, 2 6 at and 0, 200s, and 2 125s. Again, 2 table, 2 30s, 2 50s, and it will not go right as this 125. Let's again take 2, 2 15s, 2 25s, and 2 Next, take 3 table. 3, 5, 15, 25 will not go in 3 table and 125 also will not go in 3 table, right as is. Next, take 5 multiples. 5 ones, 5 fives, 5, 20 fives. Take again 5 table, 5 ones, 5 ones, and 5 fives. Here, 5 is the only prime number is here. Now, the required LCM for these 3 numbers is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 5 and 2 2 2 3 5 5 5 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 5 is 40 45 is 200 200,000 1000 into 3 3000 the required LCM for these three numbers is 3000. 
and you people can work out a problem find lcm of 30 45 and 100 200 and 300 in this process is HCF. HCF is highest common factor. Highest common factor. And this method is also called as greatest common divisor. That is GCD. greatest common divisor. So how to find this? And it has two methods. One is long division method and there is prime factorization. First we will go with long division method. So take 16, write into factors, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, next for 40, 2 into 2 into 2 into 5. Now greatest common divisor, greatest, that means common, that should be in both numbers, that is 2 is here, 2 is here. 2 is here, 2 is here, 2 is here and 2 is here and 2 is here. There is no one more common number for that and 5 is also not there in this. So which is common that only you take. Here 2 is there and here 1 more 2 is there and here 1 more 2 is there. And these 3 to 1 are common in both prime factors. That means 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 8. The equal is 8 for the given two numbers and you people can work out find HCF of 25 and 45 Next topic is squares and square rules. Square rules. Square is nothing but the multiple of the same number. That is 2, the same multiple for that 2. 2 into 2 is 2 square root. But we know already that 2 to the 4. So directly you can take 3 square. That means 3 into 3. 3 into 3. 3 into 3 means 9. That means 3 square is equal to 9. Like that you can follow for other numbers. That is 4 square. 4 fours are 16. 5 square. 5 square is 25. 6 square. 36. Like that you can work out at home up to 30 numbers. That is 30 square is 900. These numbers are very helpful in our mathematics to do problems very easily. That's why everybody should learn from 2 to 30 of all square numbers and vice versa.
The vice versa is nothing but we are calling here square roots. That means 900 is a square plus 30. 30 square is equal to 900. Now in square roots you can call here it is square root of 900 is equal to 30. In the same language here, if you send this square to that side, it will become root. How? In, uh, for example, 2x is equal to 5. In previous classes, you have learned the transposing method of equations. If you are sending this to from LHS to RHS, that means 2 is multiplied here. If you send this to that side, it will be divided. How like in that process it will be same, you have to follow here also. If you send this square to that side, it will become root. We are calling here it is square root of 900 is equal to 30. In that same way here also now, square root of 16 is equal to 4. Square root of 9 is equal to 3. Square root of 4 is equal to 2. Like this, you have to learn from 2 to 30. And this also you will do, you can do at home. I hope everyone will do that and try to get uh, easy math.